That's nice wrong. There are about 80 gazillion beat-em-up games on the Super Nintendo. No, seriously, you can look it up. If you try and count how many there are, you'll just stop counting, give up, and say there are 80 gazillion of them like I just did. It makes sense that there would be so many because they're such simple games, button mashing at its finest. So what makes any particular beat-em-up better than another one? Well, for a game to be as repetitive as a beat-em-up, you need a hook. You need something to get people addicted to doing the same thing over and over. That's because that's all you're really doing in games like this. Final Fight is one of the best beat-em-ups because its hook is the extremely satisfying sound of punching the shit out of some random flunky. It really is that simple. The sound in this game is so good, I just want to keep kicking people's asses just so I can listen to it. Seriously, to this day, when Hagger or Cody has a pipe, there's nothing as satisfying as smashing the shit out of some yeah. random bad guys and hearing the sound of steel meeting bone. Don't believe me? Compare the sound here to the sound in Final Fight 3. Or in Brawl Brothers. Or in Legend. There's just something so satisfying in that. Plus, there's something inherently silly about beat-em-up games, and Final Fight captures the ridiculousness perfectly. You gotta love being able to beat up a car with your own bare fists. Oh my god. Poor guy. Sorry I beat up your 91 Nissan Altima, dude. I always enjoy the beat-em-up staple of seeing the same guys over and over again. Oh, hello, Hollywood. Zzz. Uh... Is there some weird cloning experiment going on here? Is this a gang of triplets that all enjoy dressing in skin-tight leather? I also love the absurdity of seeing these guys getting stabbed with a knife, but they keep getting up like zombies, like they're totally unaffected. Only it'll lurch right back into another stab to the face. It's so great. Final Fight perfects all the technical aspects of the genre as well. You get gigantic, colorful sprites. Look at Super Double Dragon for comparison's sake. And I love how huge the bosses are. Look at this dude. All the characters are fluid and expressive. The collision detection is great. Although I do love being able to do this. Hey dude, wake wake up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick your ass. One gameplay mechanism that Final Fight does really well is the ability to switch fighting from left to right. You're able to shoulder toss or back suplex a guy to the other side really smoothly. That way you can get everyone on the same side and no one can sneak attack from behind. This kind of flexibility is really key in a beat-em-up. Plus there's a variety of moves that you can destroy people with. But one major setback with this game, however, is the lack of multiplayer, so that's a bummer. But the, maybe the best part of Final Fight is that the price is still under 10 bucks. So it's one of the few fun games that still somehow remain cheap over the years. So is Final Fight still worth playing today? I think the answer is... Yeah.